the brakes and leads the way into two. Back from that break, that's Toby Amusa doing what she knows how to do best right there at the All-African Games. She did win that race, the 100 meter hurdle, and she's still clamoring for more laurels to go. It's still sponsored right on Super Screen Television, and we're still talking all-run sports. We want to look at what actually happened on Saturday. It, it, it was a scenario that has got mouth wagging, different opinion coming in. Um, the FA board did thought it wise to call an extraordinary meeting to review what has actually happened. And uh, the current chairman, who is Fahad Oki, said he is the chairman de facto. 13 members of the board on Saturday, 23rd of March, 2024, did converge at a national stadium calling for an emergency meeting where Fahad Oki was rightfully impeached for various offenses that stemmed from misappropriation to high-handedness and not giving the necessary due to people who are supposed to have the right source to authority. The 13 board members felt that it was time for change and Fahad Oki should be moved. And at that point in time, Ogbeni Gafal Lamidi was appointed or rather elected as the current chairman of the FA board. Uh, the 13 board members felt it was high time Lagos football moves on. Uh, co uh, considering the new trend of things and uh, unanimously, irrespective of the court um, summon of an injunction for the AGM not to hold, it still went on. Uh, the current issue is where do we move on from here? Dwell. First of all, I'm going to ask a question. Are these guys, um, are they members of any party, a APC or PDP? Because this is, this is, this is clear politics. I'm not, I'm not um, I would want to take away clear politics from sports. <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 let's look at it from a holistic point of view. Yeah. These guys are all board members. Mm -hmm. The tattoo of them that voted two stayed away. Yeah, actually, there were 14. I think 12 voted. You have two. Two stayed away, 13 voted. Yeah, okay. Because there's a risk against this. Uh, guys who we're going to look at. But the truth remains that they had their grouses, they had their complaints, and they felt a decision should be taken. Well, um, um, what is important is um, when you have an organization like this, I think you have a task force, or you have a way of, you know, um, when it's not even the time for the extraordinary meeting, there are ways of channeling your grievances. Okay, before you go, let me quickly um, ask my editor to play out what was the grouse. There were a lot of um, issues that came up that Fado Key was accused of. Did they have facts? That's, 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 that's where we're going to. But let's quickly hear uh, some of the f facts they put out that Fado Key has actually committed. Can we get to hear that, please? The chairman, Mr. Ford, he does not promote friendly relations just as Article 2. He does not promote friendly relations among members, clubs, officials, etc. For example, meeting the Director General Legal States Post Commission with only five board members without the knowledge of other board members. Can you confirm that, please? Okay. Article 11, subsection E, to adopt statutory clause specifying that any dispute requiring a, a arbitration involving itself or one of its members and relating to the status regulations, directives, and decisions of FIFA, CAF, WAFU, NFL, or LAFA shall be determined by the judicial bodies within the statute without recourse whatsoever to ordinary courts. The chairman, Mr. Foro, if you are okay, has violated this article by taking the Congress members to Lagos High Court. On the 8th of March 2022, with suit number LD 10997 GCM, section 15, has to do with the power of the Congress to convene if the State Executive Committee does not. Do you confirm? Article 34, subsection 16, amendment of the statutes. The Chairman, Mr. Ford, who did not adhere to this article, he single handedly wrote the statute all the common aid to NFL without recourse to the Congress. Do you confirm? After the election, the Secretary has responded and confirmed. The Congress had a meeting with the Secretary and a lot of questions were asked. Now, soon the minister. Over 40 million naira left our association account without trade. And the Secretary himself affirmed to me that he was under directing from the Chairman to sign the letters of withdrawal from our first bank account and no six-month account. 
These additions by the chairman kept avoiding or neither facing the conquest to explain to us. On this point, after hearing things and also those meetings, the status confirmed by the secretary, which we know are asked to do the status. I hereby, I, Dr. Mustafa Martins, Chairman for the Admin Division, I hereby put a motion to the middle of the effect for the Minister of the World to be impeached as the Chairman of the United States Football Association. I will remind you of my fellow colleagues, the Congress members, if anyone will support my motion. <clears throat> You should be expect, should be expecting total questions were so cumbersome that of course he didn't turn up and uh, the members overwhelmingly bridge him and made him the chairman. Uh football in Lagos State, what should we be expecting? Since Lagos used to be the template of success for football. You should be expecting total football. Like I said, uh Football is a tool that no one should mess with. You should be expecting good work, uh, rigorous collaboration, healthy one with all the stakeholders, starting from our supervisors in Lagos, which is the sports commission, and then go all the way to the bottom, the grassroots, you know, and under 13 should be allowed to play as an under 13. A senior player should be allowed to perform as a senior player. Football is one. We are all one. And we will not disappoint you. We will work together. Uh, it's a new board or it's a new chairman. And uh, it will be an inclusive division of labor with my colleagues, the board members, with the clubs in Lagos, we, uh... again. And oh, that, both of them. They're trading and Ariola's getting. Oh! Them. Ruiz is hurt again. And he's gonna be Rossi on the brakes and leads the way into turn one. Jibino and Rossi head to head, side by side, with a whole shot. It's gonna be Rossi on the All said and done, so much more. Now, the big question is, before this particular extraordinary Congress, there was an injunction. Was that injunction vacated? That's the question we're asking. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's so clear that it wasn't because um, I, I think one of, one of the information they dropped on, online was um, the, the, um, the court injunction. Um, for me, I, I think it went against court order. They, they would have vacated that injunction for them to have this extraordinary meeting. Because, now, the question I'm going to ask again is, having that extraordinary meeting, was it part? Is it under the ambience of the law? Is it part of the constitution? Yeah, it is. To have this extraordinary yes, you can call an extraordinary meeting. meeting. Yes, yes, you can. You can. Okay, now, but That's allowed. Now, you have a constitution which is in packets. Now, you're having this meeting in pitching the equivalent chairman. For me, yeah, I, I think we cannot just, you know, fold his hands and go, go lay back. But, but, but some of the allegations that were leveled against to keep were just un, uncalled for. Why would a chairman similarly become a de facto? Apart from being the fact, you know, that I, I, if, I, if, I, if I heard correctly, Osun was saying money was missing from the account. Was it what, the sole signature of that account? That's a question. That's one. Yeah, and two, did they have fact to show that, okay, fine, there were fraud cases, you know, I mean, my adjustments, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, from what, from what they say, they have facts. Oh, they have facts. Yes. It should be presented in the court. But the thing is, they printed court order. Because you're supposed to vacate that injunction before you're having such a, such, such a decision. Very true. I, I think there's going to be a big problem, which they just open a fresh can of one right now. But that, as it may, Alaji Gafal is an astute administrator, yeah. and I think uh, he deserves whatever happens. You know how it is in this country. Yeah. Everybody will keep trolling around sure. until probably under four years passes by. Mm -hmm. So, which way forward for Lagos football? That's the question. What's important is because right now, the way it is, they're going to put a stall to Lagos football, right? Most of you should go, okay, not going to fold hand. Probably might just end up going to the Supreme Court to challenge this decision. You won't get to the Supreme Court. It's just a high court issue. So you no, know, the bottom line is, you know, we don't have an arbitration center that looks at football mm. as uh, um, a, a holistic point of view. So the court is the final arbiter. That's why, you know, like you say, football matters don't go to court. But in our own case here, it has not been entrenched mm. into the statute. So that's why a case can still go to court. But that, as it may, but I think... The first body, um, NFF, 
Virtually nothing is happening in the NFL. Uh, yes, yes, we'll get there. there. there but, but, but for me, I, no, no, NFL has nothing to do with yes, this. Even, funny yeah. enough, there were NFL um, delegates who came to rectify this. Aisha Fallode was there. Mm -hmm. So that simply shows that NFL uh, actually agrees with whatever transpired. But the big question now is how do we find a truce to the current situation? Yeah, you know, um, when situation arises, at the end of the day, uh, what happens is you might just have an interim body because from the way it is, it is not it is not right now. Well, we'll get to see that. <laughs> it's a big one. We'll want to see how we go around with it and find a solution because Lagos is the center of excellence and the focus is always Lagos. Talking about Lagos, games were played all over the country. I'm talking about the NPFL.